And so what I want to show you here um, is a test setup, um, which is part of my relay project that I'm doing, um, where I'm building a machine to calculate square roots, um, just as actually kind of an art piece. Um, so it uses just relays, um, kind of as, it, as they used to in the 1940s. So I have two panels wired up here just to demonstrate um, counting and um, display decoding. Um, so these um, panels are printed circuit boards, but they're actually hand-wired on the back. Each one has 16 relays on, and each one of these relays has uh, uh, four-pole uh, changeover contacts, and the whole thing runs off 13.5 uh, volts. So you can see when the relays are on because there are lights associated with them. You can see them, there's a few on already. And over here I also have a Nixie tube, um, just... Um, just a single digit. So um, this is going to be part of the entry n register and display unit. So um, the first um, board here actually is a uh, binary decade counter which counts uh, dial pulses from this, uh, from this phone dial here. Um, and the second um, board is actually a, a 4-bit binary latch and display decoder for the Nixie tube and also carries out a bunch of other different functions which um, um, for other parts of the circuit as, um, as it comes together. But this is just a test setup just to show the thing working. So um, what you can do is you can start to dial a number. You see it's showing a zero right now, but if I dial, say, a four and let that go, you'll see it count, and all, all of a sudden it'll be producing a four. So I'll do that again. Here's a seven. Um, so what happens is it actually counts very rapidly um, a set of binary um, sequences on there and then the moment that the dial gets returned to the beginning then it transfers that count into the second register, displays it on the display and then it also resets the counter back to zero again so if I dial a nine you'll get a lot of action and then it clocks in the nine into the second register and it's all done. Um, so you can see this um, happening if I do it in slow motion, I can kind of uh, let the dial out slowly like this, you'll start to see the relays energize. You can see the patterns changing on the counter each time as each dial pulse is um, occurring, and this is actually a synchronous counter, so there isn't any rippling um, because of the way it's just all edge-triggered counting, and then when it gets to the end, there'll just be a, a clock, and then all of a sudden you'll get the digit that you dialed. Um, so that's it.